So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by New York Waji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer and Warzone 2. In today's video, we're going to be covering a nice little special store bundle known as the MW2 Pro Pack 2 Urban Veteran Bundle. And you guys know how these Pro Pack bundles go. You buy it with real money, which in this case is going to be $20, but in exchange for it, you get 2,400 COD points. So that's what you do anyways. You know, it costs, it costs $20 to get 2,400 COD points anyways, as you guys can see here. But if you buy this bundle, you get the 2,400 COD points as well as other bundle items to come with that purchase. So if you're going to buy COD points, you might as well buy this bundle instead. So yeah, you can get all the rewards associated with it, which is really nice. So I thought that I would cover this bundle. It comes with really cool operator skin, weapon blueprints, and other cool surprises. And if you guys are excited to see what this bundle is all about, see how the camels look like on this bundle, and see if it's worth purchasing, which in my eyes, it already is. Make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I cover store bundles like Pro Packs here, uh, Tracer bundles, and maybe other miscellaneous bundles that are kind of interesting. If you guys are interested in future store bundle videos, I upload uh, news and updates, as well as potentially Warzone 2. So if you like any of that, or you vibe my personality, then go ahead and subscribe if you want, man. I'm just happy that you decided to click on this video, and we're spending a little bit of time together. You're freaking awesome. But that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and look at this bundle and see what it contains. So like I said before, when you buy this bundle for $20, you get 2,400 COD points to buy on another bundle, like the Shinobi bundle, or whatever crazy bundles they're going to come out with this season. So already an instant purchase just for the COD points. Along with the COD points, you get this really nice operator skin known as Urban Recon for Chewy. And in a sense, it's kind of like a mini ghillie suit, as you guys can see. He's pretty much covered in all like uh, gray and everything. So I kind of like the look of it. I like how his backpack looks. I like how his head looks and how he has the uh, little gas mask or whatever. I think it's a pretty clean fit. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And if you're going to be rocking with him once you buy this. Uh, next up, we got the Tac M Town Guard, which, I mean, it's for the Tac M. Doesn't have anything crazy. There's no traces or anything. But I mean, it's a clean looking blueprint. It's got shades of red in it. So when you combine this with camos, I think it should look pretty nice. At least with its uh, default attachments. Obviously, I'm going to change the class setup around and see if it still looks good with a meta class setup. But on the base, it looks pretty good. Next up, we got the Bass P Urban Militia. And this SMG looks pretty nice uh, too. Is it a default mag? Yeah, it's a default mag. So we're probably gonna have to change the mag, sadly. But if you're rocking the default mag, it looks pretty clean overall. Hopefully it looks good with camels. We'll have to wait and see. But um, overall, I mean, they look nice. Next, we got the weapon charm of the Urban Ace. It's just a charm. I'm not really crazy about it. We also have a weapon sticker known as Fuerzas Especiales. And if you guys are curious about the bird and how you get the decal for it, you actually have to go to the bundle of Fuerzas Especiales and you'll get that bird decal. So sadly, this is a weapon sticker. So you won't be getting the bird, but I mean, it looks nice to put on your gun, I imagine. We also get a loading screen known as Silhouettes, and it's actually a kind of clean loading screen. So at least the loading screen is usable. And in the end here, you also get an emblem known as Secret Sniper, and I love the animation that it has right here. So you get all this for $20, so I'm gonna go ahead and cop this right now. And now that we copped it, let's go ahead and, you know, check it out in the, uh, the menus and stuff. We can see how the guns look like with their attachments and everything. And we can see how the uh, the operator skin looks like in game as well. So yeah, let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we have the Tac M Town Guard and the Bass P's Urban Militia. They look both look pretty cool here in the gun menus. I uh, just wanted you guys to see the charm real fast as well as the stickers. As you guys can see they have pretty good detail on the guns, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take them off though, just cause I wanna show you guys can see them, you know, without you know, all the decoration, but I just thought you guys would be curious about the stickers. And just so you guys can see how the stickers and the charm looks like here on the Bass P, it also looks pretty, pretty clean here as well, which you guys can see. So when it comes to camos with the Tag M, uh, what's, what it's going to look like is basically like this. None, none of the real characteristics of the blueprint really come out on the gun, which kind of sucks. With solid colors though, you do see some of the red highlights combine well with the solid colors. You can combine uh, blue and red, green and red, you know, probably black and red, red and red. So you can make the gun look really nice with some of the characteristics, which is really nice, at least with the base blueprint. Now moving over to the Bass P here, when it comes to camos on this gun, um, it has a really nice metallic look when you combine it with camos, at least with the base, you know, blueprint, I guess you could say. It's even with camos, like you guys can see with Orion, polyatomic, platinum, and gold, you have a good look of the mag at least, which is kind of cool. Uh, when you put the solid color camos on, the, the mag and the grip kind of, you know, change with it, which give it a kind of cool, distinct vibe 
if you, especially if you want to go all red, I think it looks really great with the default mag. Here's these solid color camels as well. Almost forgot to show them. You know, nothing too surprising. The, 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 the blueprint doesn't show through. And it's the same case with the Bass P. I mean, the mag still shows there, which is kind of cool, at least with the default look. Like you can already imagine when you change attachments, it's just going to take the form of the camo. Now, what happens when you put on the meta multiplayer class setup for the TAC M? Well, here's the base look for the TAC M blueprint. And here is the meta class setup for multiplayer and how it looks like. Good thing is you still keep that red sort of barrel, the red of the base of the gun and the stock, which is actually really nice. So when you combine it with solid color camos, uh, you can have a really great looking gun and perform well with my best class setup in multiplayer, which is dope. Now, what happens when we change up the Bass P and give it the tryhard class setup? So here's the base Bass P and now here's the meta Bass P. What sucks is that you lose a lot of the red, unfortunately, but I think it should still look decent with uh, solid color camos, which it seems to be kind of the case, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, eh, I mean, there's hardly any change here, so it's up to you if you think the... Uh, you know, the camels, you know, combine well with the blueprint, but I don't think they do. The blueprint just looks kind of plain, so you're going to put on camels anyway. But here's how the Bass P looks like with the meta class setup. And yeah, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go into a game, show off how the operator looks like, see how the guns look like in game, and pretty much leave it there and see what we think of this bundle overall. Okay, so here we have the Tac M in all of its glory. It looks actually really freaking clean looking with this uh, sort of default look, which is awesome. It looks actually really great. Obviously no traces or anything special with it, but I mean, it looks nice to say the least. And here is the Bass P Urban Militia. Also looking really nice with the red mag and everything. But of course, when you take off the attachments of both of these guns, I mean, all, this whole look is just kind of a rip in the chat. Let's see how they look like with the, uh, with the try hard class setups real quick. And uh, there we go. I mean, the TAC M looks good with the meta class setup, which is nice, you know, could be a little bit better, but I'm happy with the way it looks personally. And here's how it looks like with the Bass P Urban Militia. Hey, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but we know it could look a little bit better. Uh, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and show off the operator in third person mode now. And here's how our boy Chewy looks like with the, the whole, uh, you know, operator skin. I think it looks kind of clean. Obviously, there is the Tracer Pack Shinobi bundle, which gives him the ninja skin, which might be a little bit better, but this is just to kind of show you guys how he looks like uh, in this operator skin. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Obviously, I'm going to say this is a cop just because you're going to, if you're going to buy COD points anyways, you might as well buy this, you know? Uh, it's overall a cop. It's not the craziest bundle in the world, but I mean, it's got some good stuff. The emblem, the loading screen, the operator skin, if you're not going to buy the Shinobi one, and then you can just save the COD points for a really good bundle. Uh, coupled with this one so yeah i would say cop it if you're gonna buy a cod point but otherwise you know the deal with these bundles and i just want to let you know that you're freaking amazing for making it all the way to the end of the video you guys are true freaking big ballers i don't know where i would be without you guys we're actually so close to 10,000 subscribers now as well so subscribe if you want and like up the video if you enjoyed it but without further ado i will see you guys later keep being amazing and let me know what you guys think of this bundle in the comment section below i love you all and bye <laughs>